we have a Bama yes or a Bama no. Arsenal's fixtures looking good from Michael Larson at Michael Larson. Uh, for me, right now, with Aguero in the form he's in, and me not really looking for two premium price strikers, it's a no. Not saying he won't score goals. I'm I'm got a feeling he will score goals. I've got a feeling he will do well. But if I'm going to have Salah and Aguero, I don't really think, for balance's sake, I can have a Bamiang. Which is a shame, because I think Arsenal's fixtures definitely look really promising. Now, after a game or two, I might reevaluate and decide that a Bamiang is doing well enough that I should bring him in. Right now, for me, a Bamiang is a no, purely because you've got Aguero as an option. You've got Salah as an option. You've got Mane as an option. You've got Kane started returning, although, to be honest, I'm still not really looking at Harry Kane I think at his price it's just too early to make that move until I see what he plays like against weaker sides because let's be fair to him he has had to play against Manchester City and Chelsea he has missed some sitters but he's been getting chances so I think he could do well uh, I definitely am watching him but he's not someone I am going to bring in just yet uh, Azir Ali uh, has asked Firmino or Mane I think right now Firmino has looked like he's dropping very deep in comparison to Salah and Mane. I don't know if this is something that Klopp is doing deliberately. It's potentially something they're doing deliberately. But Mane looks like the one that is going to get some very, very good chances. With Salah potentially being marked. Uh, Salah seems to be very stationary uh, as well when he's in the final third. Waiting for the ball to come into him and then doing something when he's got the ball. I don't know if that's so... The markers around him are stationary as well. So the likes of Mane and uh, the wing backs can run around them. That could be potentially something they're doing on purpose. I don't know. But to me, Mane has looked the best out of the three Liverpool attacking options. Grey Hair Gaming's got his own YouTube channel. So uh, consider going to check that out if I believe he does football manager content as Cami Bilo Bacta joins. Uh, should I drop Daniels and Coleman, Bournemouth and Everton defenders? I personally think there's a bit of a worry there. Bournemouth and Everton, I don't think are that great defensively. I mean, Bournemouth were good defensively when they first came up, and then ever since they've played some free-flowing football. So Daniels could definitely get attacking returns, but I think all their defenders can get attacking returns, so that could be spread about a bit. Coleman could definitely get attacking returns, but I don't think Everton's defence is going to be that solid. And I think if you just spend a little bit extra, you can bring in some players with a better defence behind them that will score points as well. Like is Mendy a must-have from Tom Potter? I think right now Mendy is a must-own player. I think he's going to be potentially the highest-owned defender with Alonso, and I think you should have one of them to cover yourselves. 